people don't know about the mysterious. The unknown has always fascinated humanity, drawing us into its depths with an irresistible allure. But what happens when the mysterious becomes too real, too close for comfort? When the line between reality and the supernatural blurs, and we find ourselves face to face with the inexplicable? Let me take you on a journey, a journey that will send shivers down your spine and make you question everything you thought you knew about the world around you. This is the story of Matthew Pike, an ordinary man who found himself in an extraordinary situation, a situation that would change his life forever. It all began on a cold, foggy night, much like any other. But this night was different. This night would be the start of a chilling encounter that Matthew would never forget. Matthew Pike woke up to a chilling draft, the kind of draft that sends a shiver down your spine and makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. He pulled the covers tighter around him, trying to shake off the feeling of unease that had settled over him like a heavy blanket. Odd, because the door was just cracked open. He was sure he had closed it before going to bed. He got up, his breath visible in the cold air, and walked over to the door. He pushed it shut, the sound echoing through the silent house. But as he turned to go back to bed, he heard it, the creak of the door opening again. He goes downstairs, shuts it. It flies open. Again. And again. Each time the door seemed to resist his efforts more, as if some unseen force was determined to keep it open. Matthew's heart pounded in his chest as he struggled to keep the door closed. He could feel the cold draft growing stronger, almost as if it was alive, pushing against him with an invisible hand. It won't stay closed. No matter how hard he tried, the door refused to stay shut. It was as if the house itself was conspiring against him, keeping him from finding any sense of peace or safety. Matthew's mind raced with thoughts of what could be causing this. Was it a ghost, a spirit, or something even more sinister? Determined, Matthew steps onto the porch. He needed to get to the bottom of this, to find out what was causing the strange occurrences in his home. The night was eerily quiet, the only sound the crunch of his footsteps on the frosty ground. The fog was thick, wrapping around him like a shroud, making it difficult to see more than a few feet in front of him. A thick presence engulfs him. Cold fog. Visibility? Zero. The fog seemed to have a life of its own, swirling and shifting around him, obscuring his vision and making it impossible to see where he was going. Matthew felt a sense of dread settle over him, a feeling that he was not alone in the fog. He could feel eyes watching him, following his every move. Even Ash's house next door is swallowed by the mist. Thirty minutes pass. The fog lifts. As the fog began to clear, Matthew looked around expecting to see the familiar sight of his neighborhood. But what he saw instead made his blood run cold. This wasn't his street. The houses were different, the trees unfamiliar. He was in a place he had never seen before. But this isn't his street. Panic set in as he realized he was lost, trapped in a place that seemed to exist outside of reality. He turned in circles trying to get his bearings, but nothing looked familiar. It was as if he had been transported to another world. A world where the rules of reality no longer apply. This place doesn't look familiar, he mutters. Panic sets in. He could feel his heart racing, his breath coming in short panic gasps. He had to find a way out to get back to the safety of his home. But no matter which direction he turned, he found himself deeper in the fog, further from any sense of familiarity. Ash's house is gone. He searches desperate. He called out for Ash, hoping that his friend would hear him and come to his aid. But there was no response, only the eerie silence of the fog. Matthew felt a sense of hopelessness wash over him. He was alone, lost in a place that defied explanation. Matthew finds Mark and William. Relief flooded through him as he saw the familiar faces of his friends. They too looked lost and confused, their expressions mirroring his own. Together, they tried to make sense of their situation, to find a way out of the fog that had trapped them. They head to a go-karting place. It seemed like a strange choice, but in their panic, they clung to anything that felt familiar, anything that might offer a sense of normalcy. The go-karting place was a beacon of hope in the midst of the chaos, a place where they could regroup and figure out their next move. Suddenly, a sonic boom shatters the eerie silence. The sound was deafening, reverberating through the fog and shaking the ground beneath their feet. It was a reminder that they were not alone, that there were forces at work beyond their understanding. The sky roars with triumph. It was as if the very heavens were mocking them, reminding them of their powerlessness in the face of the unknown. The 
The sky seemed to come alive, the clouds swirling and shifting in a dance of light and shadow. Yet the chill returns. Evil is real. Matthew could feel it in the air, a palpable sense of malevolence that seemed to seep into his very bones. He knew that they were not alone, that there was something out there, watching them, waiting for the right moment to strike. A mysterious being creeps behind Matthew. He bolts. Fear took over, and Matthew ran, his heart pounding in his chest. He could hear the footsteps behind him, the sound of something chasing him through the fog. He didn't dare look back, knowing that to do so would mean certain doom. The being whispers, I am Satan. Turn to me and rule by my side. Matthew stands firm. He could feel the presence behind him, the cold breath on the back of his neck. But he refused to give in to the fear, to let the darkness take hold. He stood his ground, drawing on a strength he didn't know he had. God is my strength. Be gone, Satan. The words came out in a shout, a defiant cry that echoed through the fog. Matthew could feel the darkness retreating, the presence fading away. He had faced the unknown and come out the other side, stronger for it. Days later, Matthew and Ash hide in a shack. They had found a place to take refuge, a small shack that offered some semblance of safety. But the fear was still there, lurking in the shadows, waiting for the right moment to strike. King Georg and his men returned to their castle. The world outside continued on, oblivious to the horrors that Matthew and his friends had faced. They were left to deal with the aftermath, to find a way to move forward in a world that had been forever changed. Billy, Mark, and William would go home. They had found their way back, but the experience had left its mark on them. They would never forget the night they had spent lost in the fog, the night they had faced the unknown and come out the other side. But Matthew and Ash, they stay, waiting, watching. They knew that the darkness was still out there, that the battle was not yet over. They would be ready, prepared for whatever came next, for the next eerie adventure. The unknown still called to them, a siren song that they could not resist. They would face it head on, ready to confront whatever horrors lay in wait. For Matthew and Ash, the journey was just beginning.